Kevin, you know, you're going well in the first quarter. See what you got going and continue the rest of the game. Um, just being aggressive. You know, I've seen, I seen you know, one go in, I got a, you know, I got another good look, another one in, and then it was on and cracking at that point. What do you like about how you guys are defending right now? I think that's the key. I think that's what we've been putting the emphasis on. Um, I think we've been scoring the ball, you know, at like a high clip, record-breaking numbers, but defensively, uh, we can't let that that rope slip. So tonight um, was a great game. I think me and Jay, you know, played both sides of the ball um, tonight. And then when, when we lead the way, you know, everybody else, you know, got to join in. I seen Sam get a, a LeBron-like chase down block tonight. That's what I like to see. I'm just saying. Uh... He thinks you're like an all NBA player right now. What does, does stuff like that like matter to you? Like the accolades, attention type thing? Or do you... I don't know. Nah. I mean, I love to play this game and I, I work hard and I improve, you know, to get caught up in accolades and how people feel and the politics of the game. It's, it's not really my concern right now. I want to get to the playoffs and I want to show what I can do there. You know, I think I could play with the best of them. I know what my capabilities are, but my emphasis right now is on winning games um, and leading this team back to the finals. So that's what my point of emphasis is. Anything else that comes along, whatever. But, you know, I'm really focused on getting us back to the NBA finals. The offense um, has been on such a historic pace. And Joe mentioned tonight, it feels like anything less is a letdown. Do you guys have to remind yourselves that even if shots aren't falling like they have been, you're still playing the right way. Yeah, um, and it's going to be times like that where we start off, you know, a little slow. You know, we go through stretches where we don't make shots. We just got to keep, you know, our defensive prowess up, and, and that's what we've we've done in the last couple games, I think. And I think that's going to be the difference between, you know, you know, winning majority of the games on the road trip or losing majority of the games on a road trip is how well you can defend. When you defend, you can be always in games. You know, you find yourself always sticking around. So um, this road trip, we got to look to really defend. What was it like to see Kyrie back on the floor? What was the conversation? Do we have, you and him been like over since he's been back? No conversations. It, it was great um, seeing him back on the floor. You know, obviously, it was a lot of tension and conversations around his return. Um, before, you know, um, the stipulations and things came out, you know, it was an indefinite suspension. We didn't know when he was going to be able to return. So um, for me, using my platform, being a part of the union, being able to fight and advocate for him to be back on the floor, um, it was a joy to see him out there. And, um, you know, it's a long season. You know, I'll see him down the line. Jill, he was saying that he considers you to be a brother. How would you describe the relationship that you've built with him over the last few years? Um, it's been, it's been, it's been a lot of growth and interesting to, to follow, you know, uh, being a teammate of Kyrie, you know, we got into it a lot, you know, we didn't see eye to eye majority of the time he was here, you know, and then since then, it seems like, you know, our relationship, we've been able to, we've been able to have conversations, been able to talk to each other, um, we've been able to, you know, uh, understand where he's coming from, I'm trying to be a person that can, you know, help. Um, and, and some of the things that he sees and be, to, be able to advocate. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I think they announced that the population just reached like 8 billion, right? And it's like less than 14,000 players that have ever played in the NBA. And that's a small percentage. So I look at us all as a, as a brotherhood. I look at us all as being on the same team, even though we're out there competing against each other. You know, I'm open to any guys, you know, calling me and building off of a relationship and trying to, you know, not only push our league forward, but push our union forward um, and protect each other. You said you didn't get a chance to talk to him while he was going through all this stuff. Did you get a chance to talk to him tonight at all and catch up? Nah, I didn't. I think we both was focused on trying to bring our team um, to a win. Um, I gave him a handshake, gave him a hug before the game, um, and, and that was enough for me. Last time you know you guys were here, you finished that playoff sweep last year. Uh, you know, since then, are you better in your mind this team than when we left when you last were here? Uh, you tell me. I think so. Um, I think that we've you know, definitely 
been cultivated by our experience. Um, you know, making it deep into the finals. I think that we have improved. I think a lot of our guys that are there have improved. Jason has improved. I've improved. Grant has improved. Peyton has improved. Derek, you can go down the line. Al. So I think that we are a better team, but it doesn't matter what you and I say. We got to go out and prove it every single night. Well, as competitors, when you face a team and you know you're playing Kyrie and Kevin Durant, three fellow scorers, and in your mind you say, okay, we can stop this team when it matters, like you did in the fourth quarter tonight. Is, is that the thing you have? Like, no matter what they have out there, we can we can control this? You just got to do your job. I think that's what our emphasis on doing our job and being, you know, physical and, and being there for each other. You can't guard those guys one-on-one. I think that's obvious. Those guys have done incredible things in their career, you know, with the ball. Um, so, like, we, we guard them with a team approach. You know, on ball, we solid, but as a team, we, we want to pick the spots that we want to pick, and, and we've done a good job at that the last couple of times we played them. Thank you, John. Thank you.